I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are going to talk about the latest fashion trend, cottage core. So recently, I keep seeing this term pop up called cottage core, and I'm like, what the heck is that? It's so cute. It looks like all the dresses I already have in my closet. Well, lucky for me, I'm on trend again. Cottage core is basically like dressing on Little House in the Prairie, lots of calico prints, lots of laces. I mean, you can even throw in a bonnet if you really want. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what cottage core is and what makes a dress cottage core. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons and sewing lessons in person. Information for that can be found on sewanastasia.com or click that link down below. So cottage core could be an entire lifestyle for you, or you could just love the fashion like I do. So today I'm gonna go over what exactly makes a dress cottage core. And if you're lucky, you already have some of these dresses in your closet. So let's go over what makes a dress cottage core. The first thing you want to do is watch an episode of Little House on the Prairie. This is going to give you a great base for what cottage core is. It is peasant lifestyle, 1850s, settling America, lots of calico prints, lots of ruffles, very bohemian looking. And you're probably thinking, but it's in the 70s. Well, that's where the 70s bohemian got that inspiration from. It was from the 1850s peasant lifestyle. So you can see fashion is always repeating itself. And here we are, 2021, and the style is back all the way back from 1850. What? So we're gonna go over three elements that make up a cottage core dress. We're gonna go over the silhouette, we're gonna go over the fabric, and we're gonna go over the details. The silhouette of these dresses is going to be a fit and then a flare. So the flare could be under the bust, it could be from the top of the bust, or it could be at the waist, but you're gonna notice a lot of volume below the fit. So over here, you can tell it's fitted right below the bust and then it flares. The same with this one here. This one goes all the way to the waist and then it has some gathers. This one also is fitted and then gathers. This one has a nice flare to it. This one also has little pleats in the bust. And then this one as well has a fit and then a flare. You'll also notice with the dress that I have on, it's fitted and then it flares out and has lots of volume in the hem. You're also gonna notice that it has a sleeve with some volume to it. This is also popular as well. You'll notice it on the dresses that I have. This one here has a sheer sleeve, beautiful little cuff detail. This one also has a sleeve with a lace cuff detail. And if we come over here to this one, this one has a full sheer sleeve with elastic at the bottom. So the sheer sleeves and just the sleeve in general is very popular for these because they are a bit modest. Another key element to a cottage core dress is a full hem with a ruffle and some lace on it. So you're gonna notice the extra detail at the hem of the dress. This one's fully gathered with some lace and this one has lace detail at the hem as well. And you're even gonna notice that this one over here has different panels and gathers at the hem. So the key elements to keep in mind when you're looking for your cottage core dress is a fit and a flare, possibly a ruffle at the hem with some lace, and possibly a full sleeve. It could be sheer or it could be solid. Next, let's talk about the fabric. Fabric is everything in this look, because imagine if these were all made out of pleather, such a different vibe. So you're gonna wanna look for a nice little floral print, which is called a calico. And the fabric is generally a cotton or a cotton voile. So something really light, something generally in an earth tone, minus the one on the end here that got stuck on an LSD trip, but she's a bit cottage core still. Um, so you really wanna look for these calico prints or some nice, soft, light, sheer fabrics that have a lining to them. And it's gonna have all those little lace details on it. 
Next, let's talk about the details that you're gonna be looking for when finding a cottage core dress. So some key details are going to be this fake corseted top, or maybe it's a real corseted top as well. The ties in the front are a great indicator too. So you'll notice this one has the ties up the front. It has the ribbon details that makes you think it could possibly be a corset. I think this one almost reminds me of a medieval princess. I love the high neckline on it. It has such a great vibe to it. So this is also a gunny sack dress. They were known for doing this type of peasant cottage core look. This one doesn't have a tie up corsety front, but it has this beautiful quilting at the top that's giving it some major peasant vibes. So this one definitely has, you know, that tie up front, kind of sexy bar wenchy vibe. This one didn't go so cute. This one definitely went prairie. This got the gingham, it's got the big floral, but it's amped up. So this one's totally like a 60s acid trip, peasant vibe. This one's also a gunny sack dress as well. So basically the bodice of a cottage core dress is gonna give you some Ren Fair vibes but in a very cute, delicate way. So I keep saying gunny sacks. What I mean is gun sacks. So this is a dress brand from the 70s. It started in 1967, and they do the cutest prairie dresses ever. So this one's a gunny sacks. This one's a gunny sacks. I'm a gunny sacks. This one's a gunny sacks. So you can see they loved making these cute peasanty, which are now cottage core dresses. And I love them. They're so cute, and I've been collecting them for Yes, I know, it's called gun sacks, but that word is so boring. I prefer gunny sacks. So there's also something called cottage core light, and that's when we just take like one or two elements of it and make it into a dress that's very wearable every day. You're not gonna look like you're out on the farm. So this dress right here is a great example of it because it has the fit and the flare. It's got a calico cotton, and it's got a big open back, which is, well, not very prairie, but it has some of those key elements. So this one we're gonna call cottage core light. Also, this one over here, this one's from the 40s, and it has the calico cotton, and it's pretty modest as well, but it doesn't have all the ruffles, all the lace, all those other like key details. So this one also is going to be a cottage core light dress. So if you're looking for a new style to try out this summer, I definitely suggest trying cottage core. So don't forget about the key elements of the fit and flare, the fabrics, and all the cute little details. I've been rocking cottage core for years, and I love it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys today and spread the love of cottage core. So if you find a dress online or in a store and you feel like you could be on the set of Little House in the Prairie, running through the prairie with the wind going through your hair, the cow in the distance, well, it's probably on trend for cottage core, and you've done it. Good job. So snag that dress, put it on, and send a picture. Totally send me your cottage core looks. I would love to share them on my Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you tag me at Zoe Anastasia so that way I can share the fabulousness that cottage core is. I would love to know what you think of cottage core. So leave it down below in the comments. And if you have questions, leave those down below too. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it some applause and share it with all your fashionable friends as well. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, don't forget I'm now teaching sewing classes in studio and virtually. Information for that is at sewingastasia.com. And make sure you share all your fashion pics and sewing pics with me so that way I can share them with everybody else and keep everybody inspired. And if you want to help grow Sewing Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon. Even just a dollar a month helps us and keeps us sewing, growing, and going. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.